Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you are new here and welcome to Cassie's castle For today's video We are doing my monthly purchase or pass video for Disney items If you guys are interested then make sure you guys give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe and let's get started. We do have quite a few things, but I feel like it's not as much as it usually is. I feel like there's usually so much merch to go through. Should we start with ears? I feel like it's tradition to just start with ears. So the first pair are these like gingham print ears that are dark, like a navy blue, or like a royal blue and white kind of like gingham kind of print. It kind of reminds me of like a picnic blanket. It has these different roses on it that are like red and blue and white. Very like 4th of July themed. Now that I'm looking at it, this would be perfect for 4th of July. And then there's a really pretty white bow in the middle that's like, I don't know what kind of material, not crochet, but like maybe like doily kind of material. I don't know. It's really cute. I'm not sure if I would buy these. I think I would have to see these in person. Now that I kind of thought of 4th of July in mind, I feel like these are a cute 4th of July ear. It has the red, white, and blue, but it doesn't like scream 4th of July. Like it doesn't have like the stars and the stripes like most of their 4th of July ears do. So I do actually like those for that purpose. They're not bad, just not my absolute favorite pair of ears that I've seen. Only a possibility I would have to see them in person. Next pair of ears are a new pair of pride ears. And actually, I think these are probably my favorite pair of pride ears they've ever done. They're like a kind of like a navy denim. And then we have a really cute rainbow satin bow. It's like how simple it is. It's not doing too much. There's no sequins. If you aren't a fan of the colorful bow, this would be a great way to have a pair of denim ears. Definitely cut the bow off and just have a denim pair that would match with every outfit. I think that'd be a really good idea. I probably will skip on them just because the rainbow is a little bit much for me. I love Pride Month. I love celebrating Pride Month, but I don't know if I would actually get use out of the ears, so I don't think I would be purchasing them. We have these ears, which are Captain Marvel ears. These are the ugliest pair of ears I've ever seen in my life. I don't even understand like who designed it and then who approved it. Like. I'm sure it has to go through some sort of approval before it just hits the shelves. Like, this is so bad. Like, if they would have removed the mohawk, I think I would be more into it. A huge Captain Marvel fan. Please don't walk around with this mohawk because this is just not it. I feel like I need to say this in every single video, but these are just my opinions and my thoughts. This doesn't mean that if you like something that you have bad taste. Next pair of ears that we have are from, from Bello Shop HK, which is like a small business, like a personal shopper that I like to shop through on Instagram when I want merch from Tokyo Disney, Shanghai Disney, just any of the Asian parks. These ears like give me like mermaid vibes. I actually have these like little mermaid ears, which I got a couple years ago. And these ears from Bello Shop remind me of these Little Mermaid ears so much. It's a lighter shade of blue. I mean, I don't think they're that bad. I think they're actually really cute. I don't know if I would buy them from overseas, but if they like came to the States, then maybe. Like I wouldn't wanna pay the extra like $10 shipping for them, but if they were in the parks and I was there, I may be tempted. So the next pair of ears are these lounge fly ears that have like this chibi design. And I'm just not a chibi girl. Like the characters that have like the big heads, that's like chibi style. I'm just not really into that. So I'm gonna definitely skip over the ears. That's just not really it for me. I also prefer shop like official Disney ears over lounge fly ears. I think the quality is a little bit better and I feel like they fit me better. There's actually a matching lounge fly backpack that you can get at the parks. It's a park exclusive bag. Once again, I'm just not into like this style of bag with like the chibi characters. It's not really my thing. I'll be skipping over them. The next pair of ears are like top of my list. These are Ewok ears, which is from Star Wars. I guess no, I'm a fake fan. So like, I have no idea what an Ewok is. When I first saw them, I thought they were like Chewbacca style ears, which I don't think that's the same thing as an Ewok, but I really like these. They're a pair of designer ears. If you're kind of like newer to like Disney ear collecting, there's like the park ears, like the parks comes out with and they're like $30, but then sometimes they'll collab with other brands. So that's like, the bubble bar ears that I've shown before, that's like a collab, and so like those will be more expensive. But these were designed by Ashley Ekin 
Eckstein or Eckstein, Eckstein, Eckstein. I'm pretty sure she's the voice of Ahsoka, which I think is a really cool collab because I know Ahsoka's from Star Wars. I know some things, you guys, but I love these ears. I really hope that they are less than $100. I think the most that I would pay is $100, but even just saying that like hurts my soul a little bit. So I'm hoping that they'll be $50. I don't own a pair of Star Wars ears, but if I did, it would have to be these. These are so cute for all year round, especially in the fall time. And I don't know if you want like a pair of Star Wars ears, like I think these are like the cutest pair ever. Like they look fluffy of the bow and it's also like not doing too much. Like they don't scream Star Wars, at least to me they don't. Like so neutral, like you can wear them all the time and I'm a neutral girl. So I love these and I top of my list. Those are pretty much all the ears that we have. Let's get into bags next because I'm a bag girl and I love bags. The first bag is a Disney Parks exclusive and it's for the movie Avatar. It's a light up lounge fly, which I've owned one before, which is really cool. They usually just have like three lights on the bag and you can like turn them on and off, which is cool like at nighttime and I feel like it would look really cool on this Pandora themed bag. I have never seen Avatar and it still blows my mind that Avatar is like the number one movie like box off seller whatever like I've never seen it I feel like no one ever talks about how like if it's good or not like I I don't understand it I want to see it at some point I know they're coming up with a second one which is probably why they are releasing this bag is because the second one is in the works also never been to Animal Kingdom which I know they have like an avatar ride there I'm not drawn to this bag because I just don't have any attachments to anything and just the navy blues I just probably wouldn't wear. But I do think the design is really cool and I think if you're a big Avatar fan then this is such a cute bag. It's actually an entire Pandora collection and you can get this collection on Shop Disney. It's available right now. They have other backpacks, they have pop sockets, this jacket, which I think the jacket's really cool. I do kind of wish it was more of like a hoodie or like a crew neck style. It seems like a zip up kind of style jacket. And then there's also an umbrella, which is actually the umbrella was probably my favorite thing out of the entire collection. I just think the design is really cool. The shape is definitely interesting. I've never seen an umbrella look that way. And I also think like underneath the umbrella is really cool and the handle is interesting like i don't know something about it is appealing to me um i still won't buy it just because i don't know anything about this movie um but yeah i thought the umbrella was like the coolest part of this collection you have like a full-on miss marvel collection and i need someone to explain to me miss marvel who is she? Someone explained it to me. I haven't seen all the Marvel movies, so I don't know too, too much. I feel like I know like the basics. Miss Marvel is not a basic thing to know, so don't come for me. But we have this Loungefly backpack. This is all available on Shop Disney, by the way, if you are interested. Like I said, I had no idea who Miss Marvel was or what she even does or like what movie she's even in. So I am not buying anything from this collection. I think the coolest thing from what it's re what's released right now on Shop Disney is the backpack. If you're like a Miss Marvel girly, then I would purchase the backpack. Next, we have the Pride collection. So we have different lounge flies. We have this black lounge fly, which has a big rainbow heart in the middle, which is a pocket. Like, I don't know. It's just not a really cute design in my opinion. I don't know. Something about it is just like, it's just not dooming it for me. You know, it's not enough. I feel like it's just really boring. Not really into it. I do like that it has Mickey ears. Mickey ear bags are my favorite, but I don't like this bag at all, honestly. There is a matching wristlet, which once again, I'll be passing on. There's another lounge fly that is actually Marvel themed, and I think this bag is probably the best out of all the bags that were released for the Pride Collection. I like that it has the different symbols for different Marvel characters, and they're all in rainbow themed. It's really cool, definitely interesting. I personally wouldn't buy it, but if you're a Marvel girly, once again, I think this is a pretty cool bag and I feel like it's minimal enough. Like it's not like the Miss Marvel bag where it's like bam, like Marvel, like you know. Like this one you would have to like get up and personal and like kind of figure out what each character is, you know. So if you are looking for something more subtle but you want to like a little bit of Pride Month and you also want some Marvel, then it's like the perfect bag. There's also this wristlet and a matching wallet. It's stitch themed. I'm not 
personally super into this like I just don't see myself ever wearing this just because of the colors like I think if it was more of like pastel I think I'd be into it a little bit more but I just wouldn't wear colors like this so it just wouldn't make sense for me to buy it do you think it's interesting that there's a wallet and a wristlet but the wallet probably does not fit in that wristlet maybe they're coming out with a lounge fly like an actual like bigger backpack because that just doesn't make sense to like come out with those two that like don't even work together or maybe i'm wrong and the wallet fits but it doesn't look like it would i'd be skipping over this but i think this would be really cute if you were going to like alani you could have like a little stitch wristlet i think that'd be a really cute little moment but I'm not going, so I don't need it. But we have the Mickey Mouse Main Attraction Enchanted Tiki Room Collection. We've discussed a Mickey Mouse Main Attraction collection like every single month so far. And once again, I'm not really drawn to anything from this collection. I actually think the Mickey plushy is the cutest out of everything i think he looks so cute with that hat i do like the kind of like burlap kind of material that they used for this collection but i'm just not really a fan the backpack isn't really calling me and that color like the green not really my thing i just know i would never wear that backpack the ears are okay feel like if the ears were that burlap material with the little hat in the middle i think i'd be more into it i'll be skipping over this entire collection but my favorite part was definitely the mickey like he is so cute so now we're just gonna get into like just random things that i saw the first thing are these pins which are pins with like flowers but the flowers look like something you would put on like a DIY project. I don't think I'm into that. Like I do appreciate that they're different and maybe they'd look cute like on some sort of bag or something. What if you had like denim shorts and you put like one of those pins like maybe on the pocket of the shorts like i feel like it'd be like a cute little touch of disney and it also has like the flowers so it'd be cute for the spring and summer like i feel like that's like the only way i could see myself using these i just don't think i'll be buying those <laughs> next we have this mug which is a honey pot mug at first i hated it because i just don't think these colors look good together like the black the blue the yellow like it's just not cute then i read the little sticker and or like the little tag and it said that it's actually color changing so i'm assuming when you put like some sort of beverage inside of it it will change color i'm not sure what color it changes into but i think if it was if it turned into like a white mug with the yellow and the black i think that would look way better than this blue color but now i don't actually hate it if it was just based off of this blue mug that is really ugly and i would never buy that in my life shop disney released so many gym shores i own one gym shore that i was gifted i will show you guys it's the pocahontas gym shore she's so beautiful and i love her but i'm just not a gym shore girl mainly because I just don't have anywhere to put them I do have one and one is all I need but I do think they are really cool um I just I don't have anywhere to like collect more things my favorite ones there's so many pretty ones I really like Rapunzel with the lantern like brushing her hair I think that's really cute I also really like the Beauty and the Beast one I think that one is adorable like that one's probably like one of my favorite favorite ones and i also really like this ariel one she's like holding like a pearl like clamshell which i think is just beautiful i do like mickey and minnie with their pastel outfits i think that's really cute oh and jasmine they're all cute but the jasmine one is really pretty with like the big lamp in the background i don't know she looks really cute i like her little pose once again i'm not gonna be buying any of these but i do think those are my favorite ones from all of them next we have a little bit of disney news there's a disney and sand cloud beach collection which i've never purchased anything from sand cloud before but from the photos it just seems like they're beach towel and they look actually really cute i like the color scheme they're like blues and like muted pinks which i feel like is gray and like pretty much a neutral if it's muted i mean i don't think i'll be buying anything because i don't really need a beach towel but i do like the little fringes i think it's adorable my favorite one from this photo this is the only photo we have you guys pink one there's a girl with a blue swim top. She's using it, and I think the one that she's laying on is, like, probably the cutest one out of all of them. It looks like it has, like, Mickeys and, like, leaves on it. I don't think I'm planning on buying anything from this collection, but let me know if you have purchased.
purchased from San Claude before. Next we have this denim jacket, which is an America Chavez denim jacket, and I have not seen the movie with her in it, so I don't really know, but I do know that she's Latina, and that's all that matters. I think the jacket's really cool. I honestly think it's like perfect for 4th of July if you are planning on celebrating and you want like a cool outfit. I do also love that they have it looks like there's a little pride flag at the top and there's also a gold. It like reminds me of like Dia de los Muertos that's like at the bottom of the jacket which is cool. I love like that touch of like gay pride and Latino pride that are added into the jacket which I think it's a really cool aspect. I don't think I'll be buying this. I have one denim jacket and I barely wear it so like I don't need another one. Do you think it is cool i just like the added details i love kind of the vintage vibe that they have on the front and it looks like they have like a stripe with like stars on the side which has like a kind of like washed out kind of vibe however i feel like the star on the back isn't as washed out which isn't my favorite like i wish they would have made it a little bit more washed out and like worn in and like really went in with that vintage vibe on the back next we have some little keychains we have these princess keychains they're each 20 dollars. really expensive for a keychain but do i want one yes i do i do love disney princesses and you guys know i'm collecting the stony clover princess fannies and so i kind of think it'd be cute to add some of these onto the fannies i definitely want to see them in person but 20 dollars is so expensive like it's a keychain. Why is it $20? I don't know which one's my favorite. Probably the pink one or like the white one are probably like my favorite ones, but yeah really cute next we have these other keychains which are like mickey cupcakes these aren't really my vibe i do think they're fun maybe like on my ice cream bag i do have an ice cream bag but i feel like that pink is like too hot of a pink that i'm just like not into it if it was like pastel then i would have bought it disney world has a 50th anniversary otter box charger it's a portable charger which honestly it just looks like there's a 50th anniversary sticker that is just put on to the charger so that just doesn't seem very special to me or like worth paying for it. It's $50, which already is overpriced for a portable charger. And it's just like a sticker. Like it's not really like doing anything. Like if it was more printed on, then it may be like if it had like a Mickey's printed on or like a castle printed on, like that'd be cooler. But it's a sticker and like I could put any sticker on anything, so... I don't think this is worth it. However, I could see myself buying this if I went to Disney World and I forgot a charger and I needed one. I could see myself spending the money for that. But if it was just just because, like, I would not buy that. We have this little Shop Harvey Orange Bird collab. They have, like, this big purple tote kind of thing, which is not cute and i would not buy that i don't really like the design like the bright purple and the bright orange is too much for me but then also just like kind of like the striping kind of material on the bags i don't know it honestly when i look at it it reminds me of seat belts maybe it's different in person but i don't really want to wear a seat belt honestly the other bag though that i do like from sharp harvey is this little like plush orange bird I think that's really cute, mainly because I really like the pass holder bags that Tokyo Disney does. They'll do like little face character pass holder bags and they're always so cute. And this Shop Harvey's bag, Orange Bird, is definitely giving me that vibe. They kind of did the same thing in October for a Mickey pumpkin, which I wanted so bad and I could not get it anywhere. It was sold out. I do like the Orange Bird. Will I buy it? Probably not, just because I'm not a huge Orange Bird girly and I don't really wear orange besides Halloween time. So yeah, I probably wouldn't buy those for the for that reason, but if you're an Orange Bird fan, I think this is really, really cute. Next, we have a popcorn bucket, which is a honey pot and it has Winnie the Pooh. He looks so cute and this is gonna be released in Tokyo Disney so if you're going to Tokyo Disney and you're just like a lucky girl you should get this popcorn bucket because it's the cutest freaking popcorn bucket ever I'm not a popcorn bucket person I don't own a single one because every single time that I want one they're always sold out and they're being resold for hundreds of dollars so I just don't buy popcorn buckets but if I were in the parks and I saw this poo one this Winnie the Pooh one I would probably purchase it because it's so cute next we have some plushies so we have this chewy plush and he just looks really creepy if i'm being honest his eyes like i don't know he just looks a little crazy so i'm not really into that one i think rex is a bit cuter 
but I'm not like a huge Rex fan, so I probably would not buy this. A chewy one is just not it. I am a big fan of the Big Feet plushies though. I do have a Marie one. I really want the Sven one, but these two are not it for me. <laughs> Next plush I actually really, really like, and it's a Lightning McQueen plush. I think he looks so cute. I'm probably not gonna buy him because I don't need him, but he... I <laughs> It's adorable. I like Lightning McQueen. I think he's cool and I kind of like like that race car kind of aesthetic. I think it's a vibe. Um, and I do love plushies. So it's like a million reasons why I should buy this. I don't need a plush, which is why I probably shouldn't. And he also wouldn't match anything in my room. So there's like no need for him, but he is kind of cute. I do kind of like this one. Last plush that we have is Minutes, which is from the Loki Disney Plus show, which I still have not seen. I've been saying I'm going to watch it for like ever and I haven't watched it. But I know she's a character in that and I think she's really cute. I don't have any attachment to her, like I said. I haven't even seen the show, but I do think it's a really cute plush. Next we have this Minnie Mouse hat, which I would never wear. Um, this is just a lot, but I could see like someone wearing this. Like it gives me like Meredith, Meredith Blake vibes and I'm here for it. Just Minnie Mouse themed. It has like a red bow, black and white polka dots. Red bow actually, actually has her little signature on it. Like it's cute, but like I would never wear this like ever in my life. So I'm not going to be buying this, but I do think it is, I don't know, it's kind of fun if you're like into that kind of thing. The very last thing that I want to share with you guys is the Disneyland sweatshirt. I actually have the cream version of this and I love it and you guys love it too. There is a gray version now, which I'm personally not a huge fan of the gray version. I think if the Disneyland logo wasn't blue, I would be more into it. Like if they would have made it white, I think it would look so much better on the gray. So I'm not super into the sweatshirt for that reason, but if you were unable to get the cream version, Maybe you'll like this one as a replacement because I know it's like out of stock and hard to get the other one. That is it. I actually feel like this video went by a lot faster than it usually does. I'm usually here for like hours filming this, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are planning on buying anything from the releases. Like I said, I feel like there wasn't much merch that was released this month. Let me know what your thoughts were, if you guys bought anything, if you're going to buy anything. If not, then that's good because then we can save money and that is what we need to do. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.